Hello, everyone. Good evening to all of you. And I welcome you all in, in this course, BADM 503, Quantitative Analysis in Business. The purpose of today's meeting is to introduce the course and uh, address your questions and issues that you might have. So let me start with the syllabus, what I'm expecting from you. So you can see, you know, I'm just going into the student's view. So what I can see, what you can see, I can, uh, I can also see. So this is my student view. And here, first problem is about book. Uh, many of you, so go under my textbook. Right here, you got read now. And if you have paid the book fee, you will have the access. And put, put like, you know, I'm just doing your Eastern, Eastern credentials, not personal email or, and you know. <clears throat> okay, so basically you will have your email, Eastern email, and you will have the access, the book through this way. So book is right here under my textbook and you will have access if you bought the uh, this book or you paid the price through bookstore or either method. So the number second thing is mini tab. So I'm going to explain mini tab after I explain the syllabus. Or, you know, there's also option if you don't want to go, if you don't like digital textbook or e-textbook, what you can do, you can buy physical copy, physical hard copy. And some, some of you have, you know, different edition, like I'm using sixth edition, which is sixth edition. If you have seventh edition, if you have fifth edition, fourth edition, or eighth edition doesn't matter because you know the concept of statistics, principles of statistics, method of statistics remain same. The change in different editions will be different examples, newer data, new data sets. So basically that will be the change in different editions. But you know, main core concepts, core principles, core methods, core uh, applications remain same. Therefore, I'm, I'm following sixth edition because uh, I have this. I didn't get a chance to review the seventh edition, which is latest. Therefore, I'm using this. But if you have any other edition of the book, you, you are perfectly fine. So this is about book. Let me go over the syllabus. I hope you can see my uh, syllabus. Uh, so basically, I am the resource person for this class. I don't have any uh, teaching assistant or any uh, person who, uh, who is helping me in this course. So I am the only one. You will get all the reply, replies from my end. So, you know, don't hesitate to send me an email and you will get the reply as soon as possible, even midnight 12 or sometimes, you know, if I'm working, I reply you midnight 12 o'clock. So uh, ask, you know, check the canvas and announcement regularly, most important, ask me. So I will reply your email or your, you know, communication as soon as possible. Another thing is that, you know, the mission statement of our school of business, which is most important. And we would like to prepare our student who can think critically and act ethically. So just, you know, these two words, critically and ethically. So think critically and act ethically. This is our mission statement. 
that we would like to prepare our students who can think very critically and act ethically. So rest, you know, you can just look into that note. Uh, we don't need any prerequisite for this because this is a prerequisite for next course, which is BADM 520. The textbook is right there. Why we are using mini tab instead of Excel? Because this is a question I had in previous sections or previous classes that a student, you know, uh, everyone is having Excel. Why, why, why we can't use Excel? I mean, it's all up to you. If you want to use Excel, that's up to you. But you know why I'm using Minitab? Minitab is, you can see all these are the Fortune companies. If you can see the list here, uh, even Microsoft, you can see somewhere in this, Microsoft is also using Minitab. Almost, you know, Fortune 60, 70% of companies they use Minitab for their data analytics. And Microsoft is one of them, though Microsoft has uh, Excel and different other tools for analytics and things, but they also use Minitab. Therefore, we are using, it's another important thing why we are not using Excel and we are using Minitab. Excel, if you want to do any probability calculation, if you want to do any calculation, you, you have to type or the formula or equation in, in, but here you just get on click based. You have to think and you have to select the right option and you get the uh, answer. You don't need to type any equation. So basically this is more easy. And here, you know, when you look into the probability part, you can visualize the probability means here in Minitab, you see visualization of different probability graphs, you know, probability distributions, which is not there in Excel. So the purpose is here that you learn the concept. If you learn the concept, you can use any tool, any, you know, like this is one you can use SAS, you can use this different other statistics tools, SPSS and other. This gives you better visualization so that you can understand the concept and you can apply them. Therefore, we are using. So I will be, I will be you know, or all the lectures and all the material is based on Minitab, means uh, uh, we will be solving with the help of Minitab. But if you like Excel, I, you know, I don't mind if you solve because the answer will be same if you use mini, different, different tools. So this is how Minitab, how do we get the Minitab? I will let you know a little bit later. Now, how am I going to assess you or how I'm going to evaluate you? There are four parts of evaluation. Number one is discussion. What is in discussion because there are many uh, emails related to discussion. What am I expecting? So basically this is not the subject of discussion, which you do discussion in marketing management, human resource management, or different other uh, management courses. This is pure science course, you know, here, you know, yes means yes, no means no. We don't have in between, in between, any option. If correct means correct, wrong means wrong. However, discussion is important here to see the alignment of your learning with the real world applications. Let's say somebody is in, uh, let's say somebody is surgeon and uh, MD and doctor, and he is doing uh, some research. And uh, he is doing binomial distribution. How he can use the binomial distribution related to health science or related to surgery, related to um, uh, in, a, in his medicine field. So binomial distribution tells, you know, it can be used in a situation where you have yes or no 
or success or failure. Let's say he got the data, there are 20% surgery in this particular kind of COVID situation. Okay, and he is going to get next, next nine patient in, what is the probability that two patient will have the chances of surgery? So basically, you know, this can be applied binomial distribution and he can find the probability, okay, 10%, 20%, we will learn in um, module number three that. So basically, what am I expecting? Suppose you are a salesperson or suppose in sales and marketing, where you can see the potential to, uh, to pitch your product or, you know, market your product. So you have three different markets and based on past past experience you see okay there is a 20 percent success rate 30 percent 40 percent whatever okay you get next 10 leads five leads eight leads what is the chances to convert three leads into into real customers and you get to know okay market one you are going to get 20 percent market two 20 four percent and you know different different so basically uh, different different probabilities for and then where you have the most probability you are going to market your product you are going to put your energy and resources there so discussion is related to suppose this week or you know next week you are going to learn some uh, uh, concepts in how you can align with your real real life example or real situations related to your profession. That is what I'm expecting in this discussion, which is 10% of weightage. Is it making sense? Yes. So, and you know, and one more thing people ask me or students ask me, uh, uh, actually there is a rubrics for, um, uh, uh, discussion grading. Uh, the first response has to be day number three or day number five. So basically, I am not going to look into the uh, date or day. I'm going to look into the content. And uh, uh, so basically, you have till Monday night, 11.59 p.m. So before that, you know, everything should be done. It doesn't matter, you know, uh, by Wednesday, if you if you are not able to do, no no problem. But you know before Monday evening or Monday eleven fifty nine p.m., do it. So this is the first thing. Uh, second thing uh, related to discussion. Uh, so whatever you can write, write related to your own profession, so that you can align you can think critically and you can really see the application in your wor work. So this is discussion. Uh, now practice quiz, which is 35% of weightage. So basically every module has some, you have unlimited attempts until you get 100 out of 100%. So the purpose of this, that, you know, learn by mistakes, so basically you do your calculation and select what is the correct option. And if you don't get the correct ans uh, answer, okay, you might correct, you know, next method. So basically this is unlimited attempts. You have four options and everyone gets 100 out of 100. So here everyone gets 100 out of 100 if, you know, they are doing a logical uh, discussion. Here they get, 100 out of 100 without any problem. But you know, the concepts are most important to learn why this is happening, how this is happening, why this number is coming, why not coming. Now, this is a little tricky. So, fill in the blank is, you know, this module or week number one module doesn't have uh, fill in the blanks because we are not dealing with numbers. In module one, we have theoretical aspects. So, uh, uh, you know, fill in the blank is also like MCQ, multiple choice question. But, you know, second module onwards, you will have, you know, numbers you are going to calculate using Minitab or Excel or different, you know, 
any tool that you like, but you know, I will be following Minitab. So whatever number is coming, you are going to insert in, in the fill in the blank option or you know, the option or window. If that is correct, <laughs> you will, you know, you will get hundred per. If that is not correct, you will not get hundred, you know, and it will be marked, uh, it will be marked incorrect. So basically you are going to do, you are going to do uh, calculation and only if you get the correct answer with correct process, that will be. So basically you will learn in this. So this is third op third uh, part, fourth part is exam. So basically if you do all three, you know, you have, you, and this is, <coughs> and if you, if you do the third option, you have, you also, everyone score 100 out of 100. You can ask me, you can, you know, reach me, you know, why I'm not getting, I'm, but you know, don't do like this, you know, I'm not understanding this question. I'm not do what you, you know, I always request everyone, please share your calculation. Please share the process of your calculation or and calculation in email and I will check it and I will correct you. I will, you know, point out, okay, where you are making mistake. So basically, you know, many students, they send, I'm not understanding anything. And this is not the way. I'm not understanding this question or these. I want to know what you are doing and then I can correct so you will learn better. And this is the final. So basically this 80% grades are for your learning. 80% grades are for your learning. This 20% grades are for your assessment of your learning. So 80%, 83% is B grade. So 80% is B minus. So you blindly, you can get, you know, if you do little, you know, hard work and you get 100 in 80%, which is B and, you know, 30 MCQ. So basically 50% or, you know, people at least get 70 to 80% correct because some questions I give little tricky to think critically. So grades are not a problem in this exam. You know, failing is not an option because 80%, which is right here, you everyone will get B without any problem because from the exam, easily they can get, you know, four or five questions correct, even they do blindly. If they put like C, 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 all 30 questions, five, six C options will be there. I'm just, you know, in, in, in a scenario. So this course doesn't have any chance that anyone will fail, no, but, Final exam will have 30 multiple choice questions, two hours allowed time, and it will be conducted on 26th of June, 2022, which is the last day of the class uh, between Sunday, this 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., which is exactly 12 hours. So these four are, so these are the grades for your learning. And this grade is for your assessment of learning. Uh, and rest, you know, the 15% daily penalty if you miss Monday deadline, which is every week you have Monday deadline if you miss. Uh, so if you submit by Tuesday, you, it will be out of 85%, 85%. If you submit by Wednesday, 30% penalty. If you submit by Thursday, 45% penalty, so don't delay it. The la another important thing in all three things, the latest, latest or last attempt will be counted. Not like, you know, the highest grade or, or you know, average of high, uh, you know, all, no. Whatever you do last, that will be counted means First time you are making a mistake in this quiz, for example, let's say you are doing a quiz. First time you made five mistakes. Okay, not counted. Second time you improved, learn, you make only three mistakes, not counted. Third time you are doing and you made one mistake, not counted. Last time you made no mistake, you completed 
and got 100%, that will be counted. Last, only last. And suppose after that you opened it and you have not completed and you keep that blank, that will be zero. So always, you know, always, always last attempt has to be completed. There's no time that you take, you know, 24 hours, but complete, don't leave it open. So otherwise you will see that you completed 100% when you see uh, it is zero. So this is most important thing and I'm going to also show on our Canvas page. So this is, you know, about grading policy that you are already going through uh, in other courses. So this is universal uh, that since, uh, and you know, other policies remain same. Uh, so you can look into this. Again, check the canvas and announcement regularly, ask me. And for example, here, the content, what we are going to cover, the module one, we are going to cover this basic introduction of statistics and all. Module two, describing data visually and numerically. And, you know, uh, we are going to cover discrete and pr continuous probability distribution in module three. This is the most difficult topic in entire two course. So probably, you know, I'm just looking, I can, I can split this in, in two pieces. One is discrete and another is continuous. Module four is sampling distribution, confidence interval, hypothesis testing, and simple regression. These are the things we are going to cover in this course. We will not use connect exercise or assignment. Another thing, everything we are going to have on our Canvas page. So look into, so this is our course and go under module. Uh, so this is here you will get under, you know, overview, then under module, each module, you will get, you know, PPTs right here, PPTs. Then you will have uh, MCQ, discussion, fill in the blank. Then you have the summary and then, you know, previous class recording. Uh, so basically, you can see this pattern, module two, lecture material, uh, chapter three, four, MCQ, discussion, fill in the blank, previous module recording, and, you know, you can see the uh, recording sessions, right, you know. Similarly, here you see probability uh, and distribution. MCQ, MCQ, lecture, MCQs, discussion, and you can see the fill in the blanks, recording different. Uh, again, so you can see the pattern, your responsibility. If you need a PPTs, you can go directly. Here, you have to do MCQ assignment right here. You have to do discussion right here. You have to do fill in the blank, and you can see. Steven. Uh, oh. Please, please, please mute your microphone yeah. and you can see uh, the recording from previous uh, uh, class. So all the resources are here and uh, let me remove this student version so that I can show you some, where is my, okay, research, just leave a student view. Now, so, and final exam is right here. If you can see, I'm not, you know, I have not opened, published these. It is right here on 26th of June. Uh, so it will be available right, you know, just a few days before I will, I will, you know, make it available like this and it will be, so it is not available as of now. So exam is right here because I may make some changes before last week. Uh, so this is very much the canvas uh, that you have to deal with. Every module has exact same. Uh, 
same way of organizing the content and you know your uh, uh, assignment and you know the lecture recordings so any question related to this then i'm coming on on mini tab anyone you can type in chat okay yeah yes final you know kaski yes final is right here on the canvas you can see the final is right here on the canvas everything that we are doing is in canvas so you don't need to go from canvas to connect or connect to canvas or different uh, other tools everything is right on on one place okay now i'm going if there's no question i'm going okay here other tools are there why are we using mini tab how to access how to access virtual lab and this you know i also shared one open statistics book and uh, if you because some people are able to align uh, the content and they don't want to go and buy so this is open resource or open book that you can use but you know if you have to but you have to align this with your content but it has all the content that i'm covering in this course everything is right here but you know it is organized in different way okay ah uh, yes yes you know flip you can respond to other students and <laughs> that will help you know because you can see you can uh you can relate okay i'm going to tell you where you know uh ramin actually you know all there if there there are questions at the end of the uh at the end of the book you will see the answer at the end of the book you will see answer if you give me a minute let me i have to go in my book self to pull and show you the uh where you can so just a minute give me a minute i am going to pull the book one minute please so rahim if you can see this is the book i think this is the fifth edition and if you are able to see i mean so your book also have uh, same thing if you see all the chapters solutions at the end of the book so all the you know all yeah one more thing only odd answers are there even problem so like problem number 2 won't have the answer problem number 3 will have the answer problem number 4 will not have the answer problem number 5 will have all the odd problems will have the answer at the end of the book <coughs> excuse me so everything you have the answer of all the odd problems at the end of the book okay uh uh so the question by joseph uh, and just to verify it appears that we cannot see any of the discussion until we have posted ourselves or yeah so be, yeah so joseph yeah first you post your own on discussion then you can see yeah that's important so so do we need a hard copy of the book you know it's all your choice it's all your choice you know you can have a uh, soft copy or hard copy i prefer hard copy because i you know i don't want to uh, my eyes get you know tired when i read uh, do we have the answers yeah 
the book is exactly the same it's in digital format or e format so now let me go with so you you will get a lot of you know uh, things now here you can see how to access virtual lab and mini tab let me go on syllabus then you know i so let, so first thing first very simple i hope you can see my eastern washington page okay here you have a to z services here you can see a to z and here you can see the virtual lab can you see the virtual lab so here you know this is virtual lab option and i'm just going to do my eastern and i am going to use my and then it will ask oh, oh. why this is oh i think so i have to sign i have to do one more time please excuse me so i go a to z services under a to z virtual lab to uh, virtual lab login uh r divedi i don't put you know at the rate of ewu so i was doing and now we see virtual lab right here and under virtual lab you know not only mini tab you can access all other tools that we have in eastern for example you have uh, uh where is sas spss stata means these are all statistics tool uh we have mini tab right here so i'm just going to use this it is going to take little time uh, then once it is started then you will have free flow of work means it will be very normal initially it takes 2 3 minutes to uh, start and actually since you are working virtually on this uh, lab uh so basically you have to use cloud drive or google drive we have google drive or storage so how to access data how to fill the numbers and all so everything you have to do virtually yeah it is taking time initially
just one more minute because everything is loading on your virtually on your computer. Oh, again. <laughs> I'm taking uh, this lecture from my office. The speed is very high, though it is taking time. Just one. Uh, I just want to check. It's close to one GB. Yeah, close to one GB. Yeah, just a minute. It will be fine. It is preparing virtually your desktop. So it takes little time. Why we are doing, you know, there are two options. One, one those who are window user can download on your computer, like I have on my computer. But those who are Mac user, they can do, they can convert their machine dwell. You know, I think one tool is there that converts uh, Mac. They, you can do the partition or you can do uh, dwell operating system on Mac with the help of one tool I will share in, in discussion and announcement, I forgot the name. So you can use Windows on your Mac computer also. So basically this is my virtual desktop has been created and here, right here, I can, the mini tab has been started automatically. And one more time, uh, email mm, keep me uh, uh, oh one more time and one more time Now, finally, I'm in. So this is my mini tab. Uh, I will do update later on. So, so this is a mini tab. For example, I just wanted to see a graph and I'm going on probability plot. Graph. Let's say I'm going to do this. I'm going to see some normal distribution and I'm going to see shaded area of 5%. Okay, how it looks. So basically we can see the, we can visualize the uh, probability distribution where is the 5% value, where is the 95%, which we cannot see in Excel. So not only normal distribution, we have number of different distributions. Uh, therefore, this is very useful tool. We have different other you know, options under this. So under statistics, we have different tools under graphs, we have different. So this is the option under, so this is my virtual. But another thing, you know, when you do this, you just make your folder here, right here and or under my you know and just save your work here or you can use google drive which is provided by eastern to every one of you and you can import data from there and you can export for example like you have done all the calculation you have saved all your work here let's say you have saved all the work here then next time when you log in 
it will not be available. So before logging out from here, you have to trans, you know, transfer this work on Google Drive. So I'm just going to show you Google Drive or or in your email or A to Z services. And here we have Google Drive where is Google G. Mm. See Google Group, yeah, Google Drive here, right here. So, like you will get also your Google Drive being a student. So you just continue, and you can from from. Where is my virtual? Day? So here you can just open your Google Drive from here, and just inside dot ewu dot edu and i mean i have to log again and again google drive where is google uh, again i have to log in like you know so you import and export from here to google drive and this is Again, <laughs> I think I'm, so hope you understand what I'm trying to say that, you know, everything you put on your Google Drive after completing your analysis and, you know, all the data. So that sometimes because, you know, uh, when you log in next time, it will be like clean uh, virtual desktop for you. So this is the way to do uh mini tab in in virtual uh, or in virtual lab why i am telling because some people have windows some people have mac some people don't have window or mac they have nowadays chromebook are there so this is the best way to do that yeah you can save the file on google drive too so now i'm going to let you know how to do on windows it's a very simple because it makes our life very easy so now i go on uh, so this is virtual lab and So this is the, you know, when you, when you, how to access mini tab, if you see this link, okay, this is coming, this is coming broken. You just put on the top and you will see this is open. Now this is very easy, all the options. So this is if you have to install on Windows computer right here, Virtual lab, I, I already explained to you. Download and run the installer. So I'm just going to download. For example, this is I have already. Okay. The second step, how you want to activate the software, is start 30 days free, free trial option. Okay. Once it is done, open it. After launching Minitab 20, you use your Eastern Washington credentials, like, you know, Ardhvedi at the rate of ewu.edu is my. You use your Eagle Net or uh, because everything, all all your Eagle Net's ID or you know emails are uh, saved in the server, so you are already activated. Use your credentials and then go through this all the steps, and you will be perfectly all right uh, till you are doing these courses you will have the complete access right here. Wait a minute, let me show you my mini tab on my computer. So follow all these steps properly, one by one. Don't remain, you know, don't keep this 30 days option. Otherwise after 30 days, you will, it will be asking license and it will be, you know, and then you will see the license price, you know, you are paying like thousand dollars for getting the license, no. You your Eastern email ID is your license. 
you don't need to pay a single penny here so and if you in case if you come across any problem there is always instruction technology with eastern they will help you so minitab is right here give me a minute so i can share my uh, okay so i hope you can see my screen i'm just going to launch my minitab right here okay uh, again it will ask my this will be always there yeah i am going to answer all your question which are there in chat box okay so this is my mini tab right here and very easy those who are using windows because they can put this software or install on their computers i'm going to do for example this probability distribution right here i can select you know this is normal distribution i'm going to let's say i'm just going to select binomial number of tries let's say 9 event probability is 20% sided area i'm just going to look for uh, let's say 3 okay here so i can see very easily this is the <laughs> probability is about 92% so i can see it very easily here which i cannot see in excel i mean visualization very easily which i can compare with uh table values i can compare with different therefore getting concept or knowing concept in probability and different this is a uh, different aspect this is very uh good tool now there are questions so here yes minute uh so i'm going to answer one by one philip is asking which assignment use mini tab so you know next week onwards week number 2 3 4 5 6 6 all assignments need mini tab next course that you are going to do in this series 520 that needs mini tab so every every you know all next 5 weeks 5 module assignments need mini tab and i believe yes we need to have used the fill in the blank homework also fill in the blank and multiple choice question also mini tab is required final exam also required mini tab but if you are good and you can do all the things on excel or you are you know super expert in excel i don't mind doing you know uh, if you keep doing your excel because the answer will be same for example mini tab is giving the answer up to you know after decimal four digits probably in excel you get five digits seven digit 10 digit but you know answer will be same it looks uh, like we start using mini tab in this yes we we will start using first week no mini tab because it's a theoretical week means we don't have numbers crunching this week but from next week onwards we will be means from monday yes we don't need for first week no mini tab okay any other question related to mini tab any other question related to accessing the mini tab any other question related to subject uh, syllabus please don't hesitate i am going to share one more resource so let's say where am i youtube videos 
so basically you know uh, all the recorded videos of different classes are right here you know let's say i took you know three times or four times or five times badm 503 i took the lectures and five different uh, uh, recordings are there or recording lectures are there uh, so you can access all here uh, and one more thing that you know i'm you know you will see under under each module you will see multiple multiple uh, links right here so here for example there are links there are links so links links multiple links are there and you will find lot of here and if you ca come across if you don't understand anything i will make another video i will upload i will share the link please let me know if you have any question if you want to know something please let me know uh do you recommend reading yes obviously you know yeah one more so your question kaski here you know uh, overview what is what do you need to do so look into that what is required uh uh ways you know uh, just to make i think so so here if you few see read chapter 1 and chapter 2 so each module you know for example i am just going on chapter uh, module 3 let's say here in lecture material clearly gives at the end chapter number 6 and 7 so it is clearly given if you look into that what chapter needs to be study so in this chapter 6 and 7 so module 1 requires you to read chapter 1 and 2 chapter 1 and 2 okay so module 1 you can see here under lecture material chapter 1 is 2 both are required any other question if no then i would like to say have a wonderful night and i will put this recording right here you know you will see this recording uh, right under this so this is uh, you know module here i am just going to put right below this this recording so you can review it thank you thank you This most welcome great. thank you most welcome thank you most, most welcome most welcome bye bye good night Mm-hmm.